Hi everyone, my name is Ramon Victor. I'm a front-end engineer based on Recife, Brazil. And I'm here today to, to introduce you a, a new Gulp plugin. The name of the plugin is Gulp Protector QA. You can see the, the page of the plugin here at GitHub. So let's, uh, first of all, in, before I talk about the plugin, let's see the page of Protector. If you don't know what Protector is, please take a look at it on, on this page. Um, but basically it is an end-to-end -end test framework for AngularJS applications. And you can learn more about Protector on these slides here I have created recently. And it gives details on um, what is Protector, how can you use it, how can you install it in your machine, and etc. So take a look at it. And another important thing to know, if you don't know what is Gulp.js, take a look at Gulp.js website. And, but basically it is a test runner. It's similar to um, Grunt.js, but the difference is that it has an approach more code, code over configurations, which make it easier to understand. So that's why I, I, I choose Gulp. To, to, re, to write my, my plugin, okay? So let's very fast here, let, take a look at the get started page. You, to configure a, um, a Gulp project, you basically have to install it. It's a, it's a node package, so you have to install the Node.js on, on, your, on your computer. So you can go to Node.js page and download it. And after after that, you have to create a Gulp file.js. On this file, you put all the configurations, on, um, put all the tasks that your project you will use. Okay, you can can use tasks tasks like uh, CSS minify and concatenate JavaScript and so on. So it's the, it's a very brief introduction for Gulp. If you want to find out more, please take a look at the gulp.js web page so let's let's get back to our to our plugin okay um, here at the, the project hood I will show you I have already um, initiate the, the the configuration file of gulp and what I need to do right now is to install the, the dependencies the gulp dependency and the Gulp Protector QA package. So let's go to command line here. Right now we, we're gonna run npm install Gulp. To download the, all the packages. And right now let's run npm install Gulp Protector way so right now we have the two packages we can we can see it here uh, after installing any go package we we'll, we're gonna see a, a node node modules folder which um, with all the all the packages we, we download so we can see it here and let's get back to the command line and now run the the command go which will start the 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 go tests based on what we we configure at the go file.js right now the go protector qa already run the first initi initiation tasks and we can see that all the test elements could be found so if you can if we go here right now and change anything on our test file for example and if we, we check right now we can see that there is a problem here in our element selector so if i get back and undo what i just did i can see that everything will be okay again that's the idea of the plugin okay so if, the same thing if we go here at the view files let's have an example here if we open the card 
and we come here and change this model let's see what happened and the the word says that the carry dot quantity could not be found so we can undo that check it again and right now all test element could be found so that's the idea it's very easy to set up everything you basically here on the group file inform to go plugin protector QA plugin that the test source is here inside the test folder uh, so everything that ends with dash spec.js will be uh, watched by protector QA plugin and all the view files that are uh, inside the app folder and also the index file that is on the root of the project so all these two Two, two group of files will be watched and every time you change any of these files the group protector QA will give you the, the warning saying if all the test elements could be found or not that's the idea of the plugin you please if you want to collaborate with the project go here at the github page and add the issues uh, you can also contribute with it if you want to fork fork the project and try to help me make it, this plugin one one awesome tool to improve our workflow and make our development of desk development even better than with what we have today. Thank you very much and I hope to get feedback from you.